So, let's see. Oh, we're getting pretty close. We at least have now 5v5. It's, it's almost as if it was, you know, intended. And, wow, Shipyard, I guess, is the round two. Actually, yeah, you know what? We, we have not talked at all, really, about the, uh, the League and, and kind of how it's set up. First of all, uh, Art of War Central, um, the official TWL, TWL server provider. I just want to toss that out and, uh, and give them a little bit of a shout-out uh, because some of the prizes are server-related. Yeah, so the, the rules tonight, we had a couple of changes. Uh, they went back up to a 20-minute time limit, 6 v 6 teams. Uh, we have one mine per engineer, one turret per team. So they're kind of adopting some of those ESL rules. No command buffs, no dehacking of objectives. Um, oh, oh, actually, wait, command post buffs are on. I forgot, that is a, that is a difference. Command post buffs are on in this one. Um, adrenaline may not be used. So, uh, we, this will be a round two matchup. Still here on Skype. Okay, well, that's good. I also was disconnected from the server. Okay. Alrighty then, welcome back to Brink TV. I hope. Oh. No, not again. I'm nine nine nine. Shit balls. Okay, so what we need is a new server, right? Indeed. This, um, is, this is true. What What kind of scares me is that I was looking at this, and these are all the same friggin' IP, just different ports. Yep. That is. I'll go with silly. Silly sound good. I think silly's good. Uh, yeah, it's a little silly. Not gonna lie. All right, let's try another port. Another port Over works. Unit, code black. Chen has a surface-to-surface -surface missile aimed right at the founder's tower. And the winner is. All units, code black. Chen has a surface-to-surface -surface missile aimed right at the founder's tower. Chen has a surface-to-surface -surface missile and it's actually aimed at the founder's the tower. I've heard news. I know it. Also, it sounds crazy, almost suicidal, but. What is Chen doing? He's going off the deep end. All units, code black. Chen has a surface to surface missile. Brink sometimes crashes. Servers don't stay online. You know what, though? I mean, let's just go find a server we know that works. Can I just say how much I'm loving this new patch? You open up the server browser menu, it's. It actually looks like a PC uh, UI, not a console fied. Here's some yes. giant text in your face. Yes, they, they've done a good job here. And they've done good. They've done good. So, my humble opinion, enable ESL rules and fucking play. Right? I mean, if ESL rules work, then yeah. I mean, the only difference here is command post buffs. Who gives the rat fucking shit? Let's, let's play some games. Who gives the rat fucking shit? You heard it right there. Well, hey, you know what? At least if we crash this time, we'll be looking at a beautiful sunset. Um, can I just say, just for the record, um, there was a really big fucking explosion on the sun earlier. Did you see that? Sorry, what's that? Did you see there was like this huge explosion uh, on the sun uh, like a day or two ago? No, that sounds dangerous. It was like ridiculously huge. Was it bigger than Earth? That is a good question. I am the opponents actually. We're doing a 1v6. This is an experimental new mode that TWL is pioneering. <laughs> 1v6? Actually, 1v yeah, map yeah. Time? yeah. It's, it's actually more challenging than it sounds. First of all, I get one second response right? times. Uh, they can't use the carved nine, which instantly makes me overpowered. So I can also use two mines and put down as many turrets as I want. <laughs> so it's really it's looking a little imbalanced right now. Need more of threes. Three more to go. All right. So let's go ahead and run the rosters and the roles we have for the security tower. That would be the offense on shipyard. We've got Tichinde. What, I, whatever the fuck, 925. I, pfft, okay. We've got Exit. We have uh, Magic... <laughs> magical Poop. <laughs> I appreciate that name. We have Pitbull. Uh, Talrock. And Design. Holy shitballs, folks. Oh my god. We are actually going live. This sounds crazy, I know. But we are live. I'm going to hop into a little bit of a shoulder cam as I run the rosters for the resistance monk uh, Kasayuri or uh, Kasayuri antifreeze um, cap let's see catapul or cataplex what the fuck I don't know cataplex and fiction and veritas I totally butchered those names but you know what we're live again 
That's the most important thing. Security about to breach uh, their way. Wow, actually going down the highway of death here is Pitbull as he gets taken down and hop out third person. We already have the uh, main gate being built and actually it was completed in just a few opening seconds. So the fact that it looks like PT focused all their energies on one single route means that uh, we have at least one barricade going up and a potential for two. Actually, we gotta, gotta stop on that build, so at least the side barricade will remain open, but um, a lot of teams kind of bypass this because of, as I called it, sort of the highway of death here. Um, we have actually a repair, though. Just a few seconds of it. Nothing, nothing too huge. But uh, a lot of teams bypass it simply because you can set up shots down here. That being said, PT has taken over and are currently repairing. Here comes fiction. Oh, no, 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 shit balls. I'm 999ing. To keep people entertained, I'm gonna hop into a pub. Priest, what on earth is happening? Server crashed. We went live, server crashed. It's good times. Alright, we're watching the heavy with a beautiful little chain gun, Gatling gun, whatever you want to call it. The bot is past the bridge, folks. Look out, because Gilly is rolling this mother. You know, it almost looks like he's pushing it because he's so fucking fat. You, you, you take a look at it and you think, yeah, he could probably do that. Sadly, this uh, server does not have any free fly enabled, so we are kind of stuck with shoulder cam action. Wow. This team is not getting stopped at all. Gilly, you've been up for way too long, buddy. It's time for you to die. Oh. One nade doesn't kill Gilly. Gilly's a badass motherfucker! See if we can uh, get Gilly to repair this. All right, there we go. Oh, he, he slides behind it like a pro. You see that? That's pro sliding right there. Nice double up though. Double up on the repair. Very nice. And Gilly for MVP. Even when he gets blown up, look at that. He's back on his feet. He's ready to go. He's gonna waltz this thing in like it's a dance partner. He's a lover. Sweet love of Gilly. He's just gonna caress the bot until it's finally in its special spot. Right there at the canal gate. That's right. It's time for the gate to open wide for Gilly's big fucking gun. Oh! Gilly's down! Gilly went down! Alright. Let's go, Gilly. I, love, I like the Mohawk, man. It's, it's pretty stylish. Now look at this. This is a server with, um, pretty much, yeah, 7v7 plus me. Or by 7, I mean 8. Either way, essentially, I'm the asshole that's, that's not joining this uh, security team. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, frame rate, frame rate wise, it looks like going through these going through the TVs. Maybe not quite so um, smooth, but it doesn't seem to have any hiccups. So that's kind of an interesting curiosity. I'm actually gonna hop around to other points of view. Watch some other people die. There we go. Get some running action in. That's what we need to see. That looks pretty good. Yeah. It looks like it's like maybe 20, even though I have it set to 30, it looks like maybe it's 20 frames per second for some reason. It's all good. Back to Gilly. Oh, Gilly's... Gilly's doing... Alright guys, so I'm actually gonna hop over to the other server, because these teams are desperately trying to play, so I don't want to be like a complete dick. I'm just be like, oh, too bad. So 
you. Give me, give me a second to do that. So, welcome to Shipyard. Uh, we've never been here before, ever. As long as we don't remember the last two hours of our lives. All right. So this is kind of, I think, the uh, the kind of telling thing. If this does not crash, then I think we can safely say there's something up with the TW TWL config. And do a little bit more research, but we'll see. We'll see. We're going live. Welcome, folks, to Brink TV. I'm Grease Gossman. We're just going to put the whole uh, previous two hours behind us as we are finally live with this game. Let's run the rosters. We have Crossbreed as the Securita. We've got uh, Nip Canvas back, Mr. McGee, uh, Sparks, No Aim, and Slad. For Protocol, we've got Suff, Chasm, NL, Guinness, Madness. It's Madness and Pharaohs. Rounding out the resistance. Are you noticing a lack of uh, words above people's heads? Yes, yes, I, I, I do, but I am not worried about that. We will just enjoy the game and worry about it after after okay. this round. Okay. Don't don't know how to cast it. Oh no! Basically, we'll just talk in generalities and use the obituary list. Okay. That, that's basically what we need to do. And then periodically, I guess we'll do some shoulder camming action. You know, because that likes to give us the names. Um, one thing I really liked from Quake Wars was the ability to put your crosshair on somebody and get info about him. We got Guinness building the main barricade. He actually backs off. Just a little tap. Just a little, little caress. Just something that says, hey, baby, I'm still here. It's okay. It's okay. I, so, I love you. Sometimes you gotta mm -hmm. caress. Mm -hmm. gotta and actually, that being said... What, what the fuck was that? There we go. Alright, I'm trying to figure out who this is. Yeah, this is actually going to be very difficult because I can't even get names and clan tags to line up. So, Sparks is actually coming around the side. And he's going to peek up. Oh, he needs to check. He needs to check above him. He's actually getting really lucky he didn't get shot in the face. He's going to get killed if he's not careful. Oh, turns out. Crossbreed getting a kill there. But not before they, he gets killed back. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Slad picks up one. Nip goes down as well. But the fact that Crossbreed is kind of pushing this back area, um, we got one guy up. Make that less than one. Make that, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty much done there. So, we actually have now a build on the main barricade. Um, just based on, on what we've seen out of these two teams in 5v5s, I would expect Protocol to do well here. Uh, and things are bearing out pretty much about like I expect. Yep. I am expecting a 20 minute full hold on this map. Now that being said, uh, watch and see if we got crossbreed. See what they can do to set up at all. And actually, ooh, very I mean, nice, very nice job by I think that's Pharaohs. Protocol has already set up both barricades. Yeah, and 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 due to that, we have two guys pushing out. We've got Pharaohs and Chasm, and they are just wreaking havoc. Um, wow, I I spell bad news for crossbreed. Yeah, there is a slight differential in our uh, skill here. Crossbreed, sort of a oldie but goldie. They're a nice team, but they're sort of kind of mid-level. Whereas uh, Protocol is definitely one of those top teams trying to, you know, contend for that number one spot with Hubris and looking for sponsor. Mm-hmm. So yeah, a lot of the action is actually happening over here on the uh, the boards. Um, that's what I call them because it's a big fucking stack of boards. But not much on the objective, I would wager. I'm going to actually hop up there in just a second. Great coverage from this window. I, I like how um, kind of offensively minded they are. I wonder if, uh, you know, with the communication that they obviously have going on. Oh, wow. Mr. McGee just uh, killed Sparks. But I'm wondering if, you know, what defenses they have back here from a sort of a back rage or a flank. Uh, yeah, I am bringing back the word back rage, by the way. It needs to come back. Um, ooh, yeah. That being said, there it is. Yeah, repair on the repair on the controls. Really? There we go. All right, there we go. Yeah. So this is kind of what I was uh, hoping to see: is someone being sneaky and getting some sort of touch on the controls. But it was pretty short lived. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna choose to watch Pharaohs. I think Pharaohs is gonna be fun to watch. A little bit of shoulder cam action. It's already picking my spot from pubs. I love covering this area. 
Because you can do shit like that. Picking up two. Good job, Pharaohs. I'm following some people, but it's really hard to get a glimpse of the overall battle other than yeah. very contained sort of incidences. Yeah, and that's okay. Like, basically, after uh, after this round, we will ask them to Archon the Spectator. I mean, at least Free Fly is on, right? We should I be will freeing. actually suggest this real quick. Yeah, just to see if like maybe they can do it in match. That's that's true. It, you know, they could. They, also, they, they might are have a... winning pretty ferociously, so they may have some true time. True, very very true. Ah, look at that. Suff's just like we'll do, no problem. We love you, long time stuff. And in fact, Suff uh, got in touch with me even before Bring TV launched, and was very curious about what we were going to be doing, and uh, has been. Oh, look at that! Boom! There's all the good stuff. Thanks. There we go. All right. Um, yeah. So I, I, I'm just really happy to see that we have uh, protocol still going strong. I know a number of teams are waiting for the the patch. I like that uh, protocol has not. Um, like I, I don't really want to. Don't want to. Really. I, okay. I don't have any problems with teams waiting for the patch because Brink needed some love. Right? I mean, I think everyone can agree on that. And while I'm a huge fanboy, I'm not like a blind fanboy. Ooh, flashbanged. Um, yeah, we got a charge at least on this on this barricade. We're going to see if it can be disarmed. Um, I'm not a blind fanboy. I mean, I, I am very aware that there are problems with, with Brink. But I do love the idea that, uh, you know, it's getting a lot of patches on a regular basis. Uh, the server browser to me, oh, we gotta disarm. The server browser to me says that, uh, Splash Damage is finally getting to the point where they can start focusing on PC only issues. Uh, because it's a very PC friendly server browser. Um, and if that's the case, then I think competition tweaks are not far behind. It just, it's just, I can sort of see their logical flow, you know? They've, they've been focusing on, uh, Making things happy for, for the pub crowd, for the console crowd, but PC will will get some some sweet sweet love. All right, well PCL putting down another push, Lad getting up a charge. It's looking really defensive heavy, and this is a defensive heavy map. But PCL, they are showing just the right amount of aggression. It's, it's so locked far, down, it's yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are they are just they're doing it right. They're doing it tight. Doing it right, doing say. it tight. I like that. Twenty four seconds. This thing blows. Has coverage by PCL. So I I don't I'm basically yeah, waiting for the engineer. There he is. Guinness shall disarm once more. He's got coverage. And you can see here's Crossbreed just now getting out of the scene way too late. And they might be able to kill the engineer, but No passage through the main barricade. Nice job by Guinness to uh, get to cover, get to uh, high ground, and get away. So, again, uh, really no real touch on this objective. Um what kind of coverage does PCL have in this back area? Look, they, they haven't chosen to use their turret there. In fact, their turret is in just sort of a spot that, that I use. Um, I, I actually don't really agree with my placement here. <laughs> I, I, I like their placement. I think it's good where they have it right now. Well, okay, I, I put my turret there, and I guess it just gets shot up way too often. You know, you really have to babysit it. Yeah, that is true. But I mean, I, I kind of like it. It kind of is uh, kind of out of the way. I guess. Well, okay. Th here's the, here's the problem that I have with it, is that if you if you take this upper route, like I don't understand why the fuck aren't crossbreed using these upper ledges and stuff. They're not being covered. I mean, just wall hop here, get up here, pour in through here, kill this motherfucker, and build this thing. You know. I guess, uh, okay, what I was going to complete my thought about this uh, turret is that you can do exactly what Pharaoh is doing. You can be in his position and just drop a nade on it. You, just, you don't even have to, like, cook it or anything. You just you just throw it. Like, down in this corner, it's going to damage the thing. So, Crossbreed's basically playing this map as if it's a plan objective. And apparently getting down the barricade equals a win. And, oops. I uh, thought I could free fly over there. Of course, that's not the case. 
So now, honestly, what I would do in the, the time it takes for this thing to blow, are you actually covering it? Yes, Slad's actually covering it. Nip is now covering it as well. So we might actually see this thing blown. That's good. PCL oh no, seriously. Everyone. There it is. Guinness finally goes down. So finally we're going to see this thing disarmed. I mean, rather, uh, detonated, excuse me, in three, two, and one. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. We're getting the barricade done. And if only that was the first objective. But it's not. We got three guys pushing in, four guys from Crossbreed pushing in, all main. And this is. Okay, here's the problem I have, okay? When you are assured that your plant's going to go off, change route. I know it sounds weird, but. Clearly, they are expecting you. So, um, you know, it would have been, I think, a little bit smarter to, to maybe switch things up and maybe only send one guy through here or something, uh, and try to pour through kind of the least expected route. Because obviously, whenever the barricade goes down, just the defense automatically is going to focus in that area. So, nice kill though by McGee and Sparks pouring through main, but they're going to get pushed back here. Nice little. Uh, Return fire by Pharaohs, picking up two, in fact. Guinness and Madness will pick up a pair of their own. So, uh, we have pretty much shut down any and all en encroachment into this objective, Matt. Yeah, yet again, PCL just showing kind of what's up there. They're able just to control the area so well. In fact, we actually had, uh, I think it was Nip trying to nip at the heels from behind. Uh, <laughs> use, the, use the back uh, sort of tunnel entrance. And they got slammed pretty hard. So yeah, you can see sort of the the machinations, if you will, of of a strategy. But uh, time yeah. the the timing execution was off. So you had well, you know if, if you kind of put it together in pieces, you had a main push, you had a back push, and then you had a tunnel push. And it would have been nice if they all happened at the same time. That being said, ooh, we got four coming from tunnel. Uh, Nate's flowing in though. Yeah, a little bit too bunched up. You gotta come in. Come in here and uh, work your way to to other avenues so that you're not then uh, choked and focus fired. Uh, I would have maybe preferred um, you come up here and you actually dart back towards the uh, uh, defender spawn. Uh, you can you can wall hop up here and get up to this platform. Gives you height advantage, uh, and you know that way you've got height here. Maybe take out this turret from here. Alternative, come through here. You now have height here. Um, overlooking, you've got, uh, you know, you can go back to cover. If you start getting pressed, you can drop down here. Um, you know, there, there's so many other options. Um, yeah. Anyway, just kind of throwing out some options. Don't know if they're yeah. any good. Sh Shipyard has a ton of flanking opportunities, but those just... When you take out the two main routes, it gets so just kind of uh, convoluted almost. Like, because even though there is a lot of flanking opportunities, you have to use them. So they only need to watch two or three positions to really uh, prevent you from... Uh... Well, I, I say you have to watch four. Um, well, there is four? Five. Uh... Five, actually. Um, you, have, you have the back, which can never be blocked off, right? You have yeah. uh, tunnel... But then uh, you also have the you have these these two front uh, kind of uh, holes in the wall, right? Um, yep. But then, uh, like tunnel is really kind of the key thing because if you can get to tunnel, you should be able to. Honestly, you know, you should bring an operative. It sounds weird, but bring an operative um, because if you spot the mines and you take them out silently. Uh, uh -huh. Without using your face, you can actually get out of here without exposing yourself. So, well, how do you mean silently? You just mean like shooting it? Um, engineers disarm them. Okay, so like a an operative and engineer push. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, again, you're was... you're you're there to do damage, not necessarily get on the objective. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm I'm just throwing out ideas because like the the main thing is that like a mine is what is covering this this tunnel. Yeah. Okay. The turret's somewhere else. The turret's not going to see you. The players aren't going to see you. So, use that to your advantage. And then if you press that enough, then you know maybe they'll start devoting a guy there, and now somewhere somewhere else is weak. I mean, you know you have to look for the 
look for the weak points. That being said, Nip and McGee and someone else is about to all hop up. And here comes an, actually a bad nade. McGee having a hard time with his wall hop. And actually, that's going to be costly because here comes... Let's see, it's Pharaohs again. MVP as far as I'm concerned, Pharaohs. Um, that being said, I think we might actually have a detonation on this bad boy. Let's, let's find out. Thirteen seconds. Ah, still plenty of time. Yeah, it's, it's this arm. I, I thought that was further along. It's it's really frustrating. I can feel CB's frustration almost. They're just they're losing when they get into team fights. They're losing one on one fights. They just kind of aren't making headway when it comes to getting the kills and making things happen. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, just take a look at this room. The way that uh, NL hopped up on the crate in order to create a crossfire between him and Guinness. Guinness was the guy soaking up the damage, right? But then you had, you know. One guy that literally was taking no damage at all, so he could just focus on killing everyone, and it worked out beautifully. Just really good teamwork, good pairing. Uh, you know. Yeah. Solid solid execution so far from Protocol. Yeah, they, they really are kind of shining right now. I, I, I'm, I'm really impressed by what they put together, but we're going to have to see where they go when they get you know a little bit more time in the game. That being said, yeah, what PCL is doing, and it's kind of, it's hard to jump to any conclusions, but the, they know when to sort of flank positions. Like, they have two or three guys that prod up into a flank and try to push around and come behind from the side. And it works really well for, for Protocol because they have those sort of, like, star players who are able, not maybe oh, star sparks. players, but, like, really good at, at fragging. Uh, Sparks what actually taken out two. I think one of them was a TK. And you yeah. know Revive, so they didn't have a Medic, actually. Interesting. Okay. Well, there's All an right, interesting they opportunity. Blow the main barricade, so. Yeah, that's that, gonna... that being said, the timing wise, Slant's now going to tunnel. And he's. Oh, ooh. Well, actually, we have three guys going tunnel. Alright. Mine on the face. Oh, did they hop it or was it down? Oh, they're just hopping it. Look at that. Okay, so crossbeat's in. Need to take down the turret. Slant going straight out into. Uh, oh, see how many turret takes down. There we go. Um. Yeah, that's cleaned up. Chasm just killed everybody. Um, wow. Yep. <laughs> what, what are you going to say to that? They Well, first of all, A, they, they should have known where that turret was uh, by now. Because it has not moved the entire game, and they at least made it in one or two other times. Uh, so a primed nade, rather than running out to the center and exposing yourself to that incoming fire... You know, again, it's one of those things. If you are on the offense and you sneak into the en the enemy base or rather the enemy objective area, and you don't see the enemy, move with caution. Chances are you're <laughs> about to get shot in the face. So that being said, I think Sparks is just going to keep running this route. Uh, he he's going uh, going long route to back again, and main barricades back up. Sparks, we're gonna see what damage he can do. Uh, pretty much, he's just going straight into spawn. I mean, I, you know, okay. Uh, Nip's getting a repair. I'm gonna follow Sparks though for a few more seconds just to see what's going on. He's gonna try to cover Nip. It comes in a little bit too late. So again, you know, you're seeing the, the machinations of something, but the teamwork and the timing just isn't quite there. So, um, you know, I think we're gonna see a 20 minute time to beat without a doubt. And. This turret still has yet to be pulled down. Uh, at this point, it's just everyone rushing for the objective. Uh, wow, McGee not even bothering to shoot. Just walks up, puts his blowtorch on the thing, and gets blown away by ML. So, quick and easy kills. Um, minute 20 left. That being said, guys, I'd love to get some feedback on own 3 d TV in terms of its, uh, its quality. And, uh, I mean, I'm actually watching it on another computer I have here and it looks pretty pretty solid. I'm actually gonna stop that. And uh, just, just assume that everything's working properly. That being said, I mean on 3D TV I think uh, they had a couple of issues right when we launched Bring TV, but from what I'm seeing tonight man, it looks good. I like it. Yeah, it is it is smooth. I'm actually having it on up on my computer as well and it is looking smooth, so yay for that. Yeah, it's always nice when, when stuff goes right. 
All right, so we've got the final push here. 30 seconds left. Cross speed has been held. And uh, let's see if uh, Slant can get maybe a, a final kill as he's rushing, rushing to get in. And mine? Mine? No mine. Killing off Chasm. No, Guinness. Excuse me, Guinness. I, I misread that. And uh, there we go. But Pharaohs cleans up again. McGee also getting one of his own. He's on a mine, he's on a mine, and he's down. Ah, rough. All right, so I don't know what the percentage was completion on that, but I don't think it's going to matter because I imagine we're going to see on the flip side, Protocol should be able to uh, move forward and kick ass and take some names. I'm hoping we'll see a set time, but it could be unlikely. No, 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 no. We'll see a set time. Nothing will ever be the same. Okay. Well, I mean, all I'm just saying is we've seen the final stage of this map, and if you tune in to Brink TV, you've heard me complain about the last stage of this map. <laughs> but you know what, though? Tonight's been very negative. Let's let's just be positive. All right. So yeah. Let's, okay. Let's well, I mean, it's, it's kind be... of positive. Saying that they're going to set a time definitively is positive for one team. It's going to be. <laughs> uh, it's going to be an entertaining game of Brink. Let's put it that I'm way. I'm going to say 12 minutes. Oh, all right. So, we're, all right, we're setting times. Uh... By the way, Matt, just to just to sort of mention this. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you've seen all the forum threads about the impossibility of doing the two-star challenge of be more objective solo as a level I've twenty. Done it. Oh, as a level twenty. Yeah. Did you see my screenshot? No. I mean, I did it when I was low level. But yeah. I, go I did go level go one, back and go back and do it now. Uh, it's. It's pretty fun, actually. I, uh, I was just sick and tired of all these threads because I, I knew it was possible. I'd done it before, um, but I didn't bother to take a screenshot of it. What happens when you're level twenty? Well, the, your opponents have every single ability. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think the only thing they don't use against you is down fire. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of curious now. I kind of want to do it. <laughs> And some guy that, uh, you know, he made a really nice video tutorial for the Xbox, and people were just kind of crapping all over him. I think his, his name is General Technique, spelled with a Q. Um, you know, it, he, he seems like a really jovial guy, and he made this YouTube, he took the time to make a YouTube video of a walkthrough. And people were kind of crapping on it, and, and that really bothered me. Because um, they were like, oh, well, if you play this on PC, and, you know, the, the point was he made a level 20 walkthrough for the Xbox. And then people are like, oh, if you do this on the PC, you, you know, there's no way you could do this or that, and these strategies don't work. And so, obviously, I can't record a video because I'll get my ass shown, uh, shot off because 30 frames per second. I just can't move the mouse and aim properly. But I just sat down last night, and I'm like, fuck it, I'll just do this again. And I, I, I guess it took me two tries, I think. And even on the try that I made it, like, they disarmed my plant. <laughs> so I only had, like, 15 seconds left, but you, know, you, oh, can, wow. you can do it in less time. Anyway, uh, that screenshot is up. Just to sort of, for all the naysayers out there, say that it's impossible as a level 20. Just is if you hide behind a crate for too long without doing, they will rush your ass, which is actually really fun. Um, adds a whole layer of stuff. But anyway, it is possible. That's all I need to say. We are live again. This time we see a flip flop. We have protocol on security. They will be on offense. We have resistance crossbreed and we have not seen any sort of shift in the uh, rosters but we will run the class loadout. We have protocol running two medics, two engineers, no three engineers, excuse me, and one soldier. That seems like a very logical and reasonable loadout given the uh, objective requires an engineer. Matt, you want to run resistance for me? Uh, yes. One sec. There is All no right, one on resistance, we're seeing Sparks, No Aim, and Canvas back on Medic. They are running two engineers, Nip and McGee, and Slad is the lone soldier, tossing out some nades and giving ammo to his teammates. All right, we're seeing a ton of action here on the objective. Already one guy um, down on the objective, getting a revive. So Pharaohs and Guinness, we've got two injuries on the objective, tons of medics. Uh, soldiers creating a crossfire, even some offensive mines. Uh, yeah. And now get more yeah. aggressive. Exactly. Offensive mines, when you're running three. Oh, GG already. When you're running uh, three engineers, might as well. Just go crazy with it. Oh, hey, Crossbreed just is DCing because they are past the progress point in. You know what, dude? Uh, I, okay. Apparently, the, the time to beat was. Was that a minute and 15 seconds? 
Uh, yeah. That wasn't really a time to beat, but yeah. Yeah. I kind of so. wish they did play it out, but I understand why they didn't. Yeah. It is sort of infuriating when you put together, you know, they Crossbreed has been practicing. They're one of the teams out there, um, you know, putting in the work, making it yeah. happen. And then to get outplayed by a team after you put so much time into it, I definitely understand how that can be frustrating. Yeah, so. the, the original progress from Crossbreed was 14%, and they, uh, they GG'd once. Protocol had passed that percentage. So, yeah. all right, guys. So, um, yeah, TWO had a little bit of a rough start tonight. It happens from time to time. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm, you know, shit happens. It's okay. We're here. That That's the important thing. Wow, are they, are they really going to try these servers again? You know, they, there's a point where you just, you got to walk away. But, <laughs> yep. But we'll see. I'm going to hop in there. reached that point yet? I'm going to hop in there. Spectating features are enabled. That's I can good. fly around, so we we have some improvements there. All right, so this is just a scrim, guys. No, no serious business. All right, we're going live. We're going live. That's why I'm gonna let it run. And let's actually fly out to. Uh, did we even run the rosters? We're, we're kind of bad at this, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll go security. We got magical poop, which I think is the best name ever. We've got uh, Tikhinda. Tik I don't know. Help me with that name. We got uh, design, tilter, and pitbull, and exit. And already we have a command post being captured. So that's what you do. Um, you want to go ahead and run the resistance there, Matt? Yes, I will do just that. Okay. On uh, soldier, we have three soldiers: Fixaton, Veritas, and Krizzle. Uh, we got NG, uh, running NG, we got Lava Juice and Cataplex. Ooh. And as the single medic, we have Monk RX. So, single three medic? Inch, or sorry, not three inches, three soldiers. Single is a medic? Bit. Yeah, that's weird. What? This is. Uh, Unorthodox. Yeah, this is, okay, to that say the least. To say back the least. push by PT. Flash banged. Waiting. I can see. Okay. Uh, who's left alive here? Wow, it looks like PT backed off except for one guy, so he kind of forfeited his life. Uh, Fiction is still up in here. And did Doth My Eyes deceive me? Is that a heavy on the battlefield? Are, wait, are you, wait, who is who's running heavy? Fiction. Really? Lo uh, look at that. He's all tatted up and everything. It looks pretty badass. Uh, intriguing, I want to say, but also bad, I want to say. So. But, okay, okay, but hang on a second, though, because it all depends on your position. Like, if you're fucking there to just shoot people, and you're playing the objective and not going anywhere else, and you're on defense, okay. When you're on offense, that's going to be kind of weird, but I can, I can see it. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Right now, I think heavies are a little unbalanced because they move slower. They can't really do anything parkour-wise, and they don't get that much more health. Yeah, which so, which I think might get a little bit of love in a future patch. I know. That I really hope they do. I really hope they get actually a fairly significant amount of love because I come from tribes. And well, from I, tribes, I, think, I think people are probably like I, I've heard ideas tossed around like maybe plus forty HP or something like that. And I feel like that's beefy enough. Yeah, something. Because right now I, I just don't really fear the. Uh, yeah, as, as long as you headshot. And I feel like if you see a heavy run at you, you should, you know, you should get a little bit of fear in your bones. You need to, you know, start considering your position, stuff like that, but right now you just don't see that. We got a slight repair. Looks like it's been shut down. We've got, uh, Tech. Or, T I don't. Oh, how the fuck do you pronounce his name? Seriously. I feel so bad. Tick. I'm just gonna call him Tick. Tick Hinde. I don't know. Is that something backwards? No. <laughs> Let's call him Tick. Did not authenticate user. Is there a pause command, really? Like, that would be awesome. Oh, no, command pause. <laughs> oh, I feel bad, but uh, there's no pause and break yet, guys. That is... That is something required. Yeah, we're gonna need to see that happen if... We need we need uh, demos. We need respawn. We need objective progress on HUD. Um, and then yeah, we need first. Uh, honestly, like first person would be nice, but I'm not gonna go too crazy without it, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna watch Fiction because he's kind of rocking a big gun, and 
is killing people. That's always fun. Okay. Killing people works. Yeah. That's that one of the said, strategies uh, I like to employ. Yeah, I'd love to know the, the progress. Um, you know, I, I'm a little bit curious because I think that if we maybe got an Archon. Uh -huh. Do you see Lava Juice's turret? That's a little, uh. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm flying this shit. Is it? Is he still running it like right in the middle? No. It was like right outside of the security spawn. They just blew it up actually with a couple of grenades. <laughs> okay. He's a little cocky. He's got a We're on the repair here. Pitbull, getting it done. About to get shot in the face. Oh, actually, Kirk Kizzle just got uh, Kirk Kizzle just got knocked down. Hmm. And Fiction actually TKs Veritas. Medic okay, so looking for a revive. Pitbull is back up. This will be actually a pretty significant build. In fact, um, hmm, decent Molotov, knocked down two, killed one, back up though, Pitbull, getting a lot of love from his medics, designs back up there, well I think we might actually see an advancement here, uh oh, uh oh, here comes, there's that Monk, Monk coming in, saving the day, stopping the build, just in time. But uh, definitely took a minute for that to happen, so I am very curious to see. What I started to say before this, all this amazing action happened was, um, I kind of think, and this is just me throwing this out there, uh, if we got Archon, of course it would suck to have Archon to all these servers, I don't think that's nice to ask for, or to have to ask for, but... Um, I'm wondering if there's a CVAR, like a server-side CVAR that lets you like read out the statistics of like the progress values, like the current progress values. So at the very least, if we don't have this shit on the GUI, we can actually, just, or on the HUD rather, we can just look at, you know, hit a, like bind a key to print it out in the console or something. That would be neat, right? That uh, would be cool, yeah. I'm, I'm just throwing uh, it out there. I think it would just be better to get the, the HUD thing sorted yeah, out. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to be flexible. Okay, what I'm seeing right now uh, is it seems like it's a little bit of broken advancement here. Tilter coming in and getting a uh, kill of Kirk. Or Cuckrizzle. I need to call him Cuckrizzle. It's actually a pretty phonetic name. I like that. Flashbang just in time. Blinded. Yeah, I mean, Tilter's trying to hold this thing down, waiting for an engineer to get here. Pitbull has just arrived. Revive syringes aplenty, and here is the build continuing. 13, 18 on the clock. I think we have the potential. Oh, nice Molotov. Medics, though, getting the revives in. The question is, uh, can Kakrizzle get the build? We got downfire. Pitbull finally getting up. He actually stayed down for quite some time. Uh, getting shot in the face, though. Pitbull by Lava Juice. <laughs> this time, Tick getting blown off of the platform. And really, that, this guy's just having a bad day. He's just, he's holding on. He's like, oh, I almost made it. Oh, I'm gonna repair. But he's dead. Sorry, I'm having fun, Matt. I'm having much fun <laughs> with, it, with this Brink stuff. It's crazy Brink stuff that we actually get to see tonight. All right, so we got uh, Magical Poop looking to make the magic happen. <laughs> Of course, the question is, are people happy when he makes the magic happen, or are they just relieved? Huh? Slightly inconvenienced. <laughs> Alright, yeah, he's, oh, he gets taken out oh. there by Krizzle. Yes. I have to say, this is some of the most unique handles I've seen in quite a while. I would I would give that, this scrim, that award. Repairing scrim, again, right? Tilter this time. Oh, that's three on it. Jesus, tap dancing Christ, this thing should be close and done. Really? Really? Four? Four here? Just really? Where are the nades? Give me a nade. Is that adrenaline? That is adrenaline. That is awesome. I thought we had uh, ESL config in place. Maybe we don't. Apparently not. Well, it wasn't really to hurt anything. I mean, okay. Let's let's start talking about adrenaline because. Uh, uh I still don't like it. That's my thoughts. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, here, here's my thing. You might not like it, but it's counterable. It lasts four seconds now, and any knockdown will do. So, like, I mean, I, I understand, like, 
sort of the competitive community's desire to take cheesy abilities out of the game. But okay, what if, what if, for whatever reason, the completely vanilla game was somehow balanced, which it probably isn't. But it, it seems to me like. Adrenaline is one of those things, finally, we're moving on the second objective. I knew that had to, had to be close. But what if, like, let's say, Slash Damage and all their playtests and all these frustrations that we're having, and they're just like, well, why don't these fuckers just learn how to knock people over? That's what we did. That's why we built the ability. You know, like, of course it's defensively biased if you take out this, this, and this. You know, I, I'm wondering if maybe that's what their sort of, you know, their internal discussions are like. Like, oh, these fucking noobs keep uh, dumbing down our game. I don't know. What, what do you think about that? Uh, I just don't think it belongs in competition, like, at all. I don't know. It's just, like, cheesy. Okay. But you could say that about a lot of other abilities, I imagine. Like, flashbangs blind you for over five seconds. Oh, that's cheesy. Let's remove it. I don't know. I mean... I mean, flashbangs have been in games though for like ten years. It's not like a but, new concept. But that's stupid. Okay, I'm. I don't mean to say stupid. Okay, that that's just a reaction. But that it seems odd to me to just instantly ban something because it's not normal. It's not. I think it's banned more accepted. because it's it's again it's cheesy as heck. Like it's it gives you invulnerability for but a couple seconds. But have you tried it? Yeah, I have. Like, I'm, I'm, I've actually played against teams have you that tried figured out how to do keep stacking in scrims. Yeah, multiple times. I was the one who called S for it. Since, it to be since the, it, you... it got cut down by a second. That hardly matters when you got teams stacking it three or four times in a row. And how many times did you knock down the guy that was adrenalized? When he's running away, running around, or putting it, or he has his team guarding you, you don't run up to the objective to knock someone over. Like, did you try? Did you throw a grenade and shoot it? Like, if, if someone's running away from... Okay, imagine this. Someone someone gets the escort objective on terminal, and the entire time you're facing that guy, he is getting adrenaline boosted away from your spawn and halfway across the map before you even have a chance to kill him. And yeah, the damage will kill him at the end, and he gets an instant revive and his team's there to pick him up. While you guys were all focusing on the guy who had the escort icon, you didn't know he had adrenaline on him because it has that same yellow tint, and he's invulnerable the entire time, and it turns out your mad dash to kill the objective is completely irrelevant okay, because so, so, he was invincible so you're saying the entire that the, time. That the objective guy can be adrenalized, and that's retarded. Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, I'll agree with that. That's fine. Now, what if adrenaline could not be stacked? And what if adrenaline, by the way, I think we have a hack going, or no, yeah, we do. Um, what if it could not be stacked, and this is my suggestion, which is, there's a threshold of damage, like say if um, the guy who's been adrenalized takes 150% of his health, then uh, while he's adrenalized, he just outright dies, completely dies, absolutely no chance to revive him. So in other words, after four seconds, that guy is guaranteed to go back to spawn. I just think invulnerability is kind of silly. The only game that that's done that in the past is Team Fortress 2. Okay. And. And. I don't know. I just didn't feel like the game mechanic is the same as Adrenaline. It's more. It's it's like based on like an accumulation over time with your team, so you have to time it, and there actually is some strategy involved with it. And Adrenaline, you just if you want to complete an objective, you just spam it on the objective guy. It's not really a strategy, it's right. just... So, so again, what if Adrenaline can't stack, and if enough damage is taken while Adrenalized, the guy is down for good? Like, to me, that, that sort of fixes the... What, what seems to be your largest concern is that it can be stacked and that's retarded. And I agree. I 100% agree with that. I mean, I, if that fits, I guess. I don't know. I just... It's, I don't know. It's a silly ability. It doesn't add anything. It's not overpowered if you can't stack it, but I mean, even taking it down a second doesn't really solve the issues. Okay, but if it's not stackable, and it's, you know, currently... It stays four seconds. 
And again, I, I, I really would like the idea of, you know, you've been adrenalized and then you take all this damage, all of a sudden it's like so overwhelming that you just die. You know? I mean, um, I mean, I said, that could be said about just about any ability that gets removed. I mean, what if instead of um, when you put down two mines, your mines do half damage instead? Would it then be put back in competition? Maybe if self revives had a hundred and fifty second cooldown instead of a hundred second cooldown, would it then be balanced enough to put back in competition? There's all these what if scenarios, and I feel like just how adrenaline is is right now isn't any good. Okay. And if it gets changed, yeah, maybe. But you could say that for any ability to start taking out. Okay. So. I'll, I'll agree with that. That being said, we have seen resistance retake this objective. We are currently at a about sixty percent uh, hack. Security is getting pretty shut down. Pitbull not really uh, checking his fire there. Although, ooh, who comes in here? It's, uh, I think that was maybe Tilter? Designed, just dropping it right on the turret. So, yeah, pretty solid hold now by the resistance. Five minutes and six seconds remaining. See if lava juice can make something happen. Apparently he can. Down goes Tilted. See if I can find the security, see what they're up to. There we go. Magic poop. It's time to watch some magic poop. <laughs> Excuse me, magical poop. Uh oh. Apparently his poop may be magical, but. His cranium still takes bullets like the rest of us. He does self-revive, though. So, yeah, this objective is quite difficult to, uh, to retake, I would say. We've had a lot of discussions about that. Nice crossfire there. Magical move goes down to Lava Juice. Lava Juice picks up another before he finally goes down to design, so... Security having a very hard time getting in on this objective and design seems to basically die because he has no team. They all just respawn without him, so. Hmm. Pitbull. So we can get in here. Got revives happening, actually, medic getting a medic up. So yeah, I think we're going to be held here. 3 minutes, 22 seconds. And I, I think I have to kind of call this out. Um, we've seen two successful games that did not execute the TWL config. So Yeah, on the TWL server too. Hmm. Yeah. But, but this is not running their config. Yeah. From what I understand. So yeah, some, something's up with that config. Some, something fishy. Don't know what it is. All right, so security is pushing in. And actually, I like the fact that they're they're kind of methodically oh, clearing stuff. Let's see if they can get in here. There we go. Pitbull nearly has this thing cleared. Actually, now would be a good time to start really pressing. Medic, looking for someone to revive. No one's here. Where are the operatives? Here comes the respawn from Resistance. There we go. Hacking the missile controls. Tilter's on it. And hiding place is a bit obvious, but... <laughs> it's where everyone hides. However, it works. I don't know. I actually hacked um, about 50% from... We just go over to... I guess behind where he is, uh, into this, uh, where, where uh, this guy Cat Cal Calpex is attacking right now with Monk. Cataplex. Uh, yeah, Cata Cataplex. I, yeah, I can't read that. Um, he was all up in my face. Yeah, gotcha. if you just, uh, oh, oh no. No, 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 motherfuck. You gotta be kidding me. What? Oh, You've gotta server. be kidding me. 
Oh no, nine nine nine. So apparently Why why did we say pig, something? If they got nothing to do with it in the end. Oh. Oh, that hurts in the face. Alright guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and shut this down. Uh, I wanna go play actually, so Fair okay. enough, dude. Fair enough. Yeah. Anyway guys, um thanks for tuning in.